About six o'clock, we had a peaceful demonstration in downtown Dallas. Um, after the demonstration, there were, there were about 800 uh, people uh, in that demonstration. We had 100 uh, officers uh, protecting the demonstrators and, and uh, the surrounding area. Uh, 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 after the demonstration, a uh, march was taking place to the West End. Um, and at 8.58, uh, our worst nightmare happened. Uh, our um, Dallas Public Safety, Dallas uh, uh, Police Department, DART officers were fired upon uh, by shooters. Um, I'm sad to say that we have deceased, and it is a heartbreaking moment for the city of Dallas. I'm going to let Chief Brown go over the details of that, and then I'll come back and uh, close, and we'll take the questions that we can take. Chief. First of all, this is a very uh, emotional time for our department, for the law enforcement community here in Dallas and across this country uh, as it relates to this incident. Uh, what I can tell you as an update is that uh, just before coming out, we got information that we had a suspect cornered uh, in the El Centro garage on the second floor, we believe is one of the shooters, and we are negotiating with that person as we speak. So I, I, I'm going to have to get back real quick, but we do know what happened is that two snipers, at least two snipers, from elevated positions as the protest rally march ended, uh, began firing upon our officers, ambush style and uh, shot what we believe, at this point, 11 officers. Uh, we've confirmed one more since we put out the initial 10. 11 officers were shot, and three are deceased. Uh, some shot in the back. Um, we believe that uh, these suspects were uh, positioning themselves in a way to triangulate on these officers from do two different perches. Uh, in garages in the downtown area and planned uh, to injure and kill as many law enforcement officers as they could. Uh, we are reaching out to the families of all these officers and getting them transported to the hospital. So we'll ask for your prayers for these families. And we ask that you uh, give our officers strength to catch these suspects and bring them to justice tonight. If anyone has information about these suspects, please, please call the Dallas Police Department. Call 911 and give us that information so we can bring these people to justice. Uh, we also believe that these suspects uh, have threatened to plant a bomb in the downtown area. Uh, we have reached out to our federal law enforcement pa partners, both the FBI and the ATF uh, to help us search for both these suspects, or maybe it's more, and to do a very thorough search of this uh, area where we believe there might be a bomb planted. And uh, again, I I'll quickly take some questions, uh, but I, like, I want to remind you, we've got one of these suspects cornered, and I need to get back and take care uh, of the business of protecting this city. So let me let me let me finish, and then we'll take the questions. Okay. I ask everybody to focus on one thing right now, and that is our Dallas police officers, their families, those that are deceased, those that are in the hospital, fighting for their lives. Let's all come together and support our police officers. I've never been as proud. I believe we've got one of the best forces in the nation, and we've done things with civil rights in the right way, and we've done it for the safety of our citizens. So please, let's come together right now as a city. Let's take some questions. Please talk about the pictures you guys want put out. Who are these people you're looking for in the pictures? They handed a bunch of these out. Right. We wanted to uh, show a person of interest who witnesses at the scene say were involved in this shooting in some way. So this is a person of interest. As you can see, they're in camouflage, 
and they have a rifle strap slung with a rifle butt sticking up. And we know that rifles were used to injure and kill Dallas officers and adult officers. And so if anyone knows or recognizes this picture, please immediately call 911. Do not approach this suspect. Uh, we'll bring him to justice. Chief, I'm sorry, to get the numbers straight, there's 10 Dallas police officers that have been shot. Three Dallas police officers are deceased. One DART officer and four off DART officers shot, or does that include the 10 DART officers? Right, so again, the initial release was we had 10 officers shot. One of those officers is a DART officer and they're deceased. Another DART officer was injured, but not deceased. Uh, there's two Dallas officers deceased. And as I've mentioned, to update you from that initial 10, we've had an additional officer to bring the total to 11. Any other questions? And Any we civilians? also have a civ one civilian that was shot. Yes. Wounded or killed? Wounded. Or wounded. Any other questions? Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll, we'll get back Thank to you guys. You.